Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Happy Friday to everybody. Yep. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, thus far, we've got a lot of things to share with you that we got coming up uh, with BTV. Yep. You're looking like you're sitting down or something. I got on my shirt. No, I see. Got phone tip. Uh, I need tip. to tilt it down a little bit. Yep. Okay. Hey, Travis Hargett. What's going on, Travis? What's up, Hargett? Yeah, Travis been doing a lot of savings with um, shopping with Travis. Thank you, Travis, for the tip. Now I just got to get some money so I can um, go get those items. Appreciate the tips. Mm. Hey, hello, Jennifer Moore. Good morning. How are you? Um, but he got there, there's a great deal at Kroger's on that um, on that Tide. I need to get that quickly. Sure do. She had the broadcast for me. Uh, Travis. Good up? morning, Robert Brock. How are you? Good morning. Hope you're having a fantastic Speak Life Friday. Shout out the broadcast for me, uh, Brother Robert, Reverend Robert. Yeah. Hey, Tangie Jackson. How are you? My friend. That's my friend right there. You don't know Tangie. I do know Tangie. It's Tangie, not Tangie. Miss Montez. Oh, I, I, I know I, you I, want to say something about me, my man. I thought I seen her the day dropping somebody off at True High, but that probably went her. Huh? I just glimpsed over there when I was coming mm -hmm. up on the bus, and I looked like I said that looked like me, Montez. That's what you said. But it probably went her. Huh? Okay, but what you but want? that plate, <laughs> that salad, man, that salad went off the chain. That salad did not make any sense on yesterday. Hey, me, Montez, that, that that salad was right, and mm. and then. You know the ribs and the beans and all that, right? But I didn't get to eat it yet. But trust me, I'm going back at it. Mm -hmm. Because I bit that little chicken last night. I came in last night and I'm like, man, I don't want to eat so late. So I just grabbed it. I bit it cold and everything. I said, dog, oh, that chicken good. <laughs> had an aisle of season to it. It sure did. So that, that chicken was straight. That chicken was straight. So right. I said about in another good mm, hour, hour and a half. I'm going in. Going in. Mid Montez is on that plate. Y'all better get back to that wreck and get some of the ribs and, and, and baked beans and slaw and, and the chicken that she got, the Ooh. salad. Y'all should have saw that salad. I mean, you got to yeah. teach me how to orchestrate that thing. You know what I'm talking about? How nice and stuff. All them cucumbers were laying down in a row <laughs> and that cheese and then the bacon, then the hams. Yeah, that stuff just, man, this plate right. Man, presentation, everything, ain't it? Yeah, man, it got me. Yeah, yeah. That what yeah. made me want to get that salad. I just saw how nice it was. Mm hmm. Too good. Hey, classmate, I see my classmate on. Hey, Princess, how are you? Got to share with y'all some things that are coming up for the weekend. Speak Life is coming up on this coming Sunday. Uh, it is launching on Sunday. We cannot wait to be at the Lafayette Christian School right there. In LaGrange, if you don't know where it is, go just pass right by Troop High School when you get off the exit, and it is right there. We cannot wait. Good morning, Sean Mitchell. How are you? Um, it is it is going down at 3 o'clock. Can't wait to be there. Thank you, uh, Pastor Robert Brock, for allowing BTV to be a part of it. I cannot wait. It is going to be amazing. Also, coming up on tomorrow, we're going to be at Splat City. Splat City. You know what that is? Paintball. Yep. Paintball. Yes. Paintball. Coming up on tomorrow. Hey, Tynese, my friend. Uh, good morning. She works at WRBL. You haven't met Tynese yet, I don't, I don't think. Um, so we're going to be at Splat City tomorrow. Paintball. You going to be doing it? Huh? Yeah, I'm going to put on some gear and get out there. What? I'm ready. Oh, man. You don't have to do that. Yeah, I do. Are they going to teach me? We're going to be ready. I remember last time. Did you do it last time or you did? I didn't do it last time. I didn't do it last time. You know, we did it at CJ's birthday party. I didn't do it then either, but the kids had a ball. CJ what my McDonald's at? <laughs> Got to say happy birthday to Joe. Joe! Joe Wells. Big up, Joe. Y'all go to McDonald's today and say happy birthday to Joe Wells. He is celebrating his birthday. Say happy birthday, birthday to Joe. Joe. And fill out these little thingy here. Yeah, <laughs> surveys. Yeah, fill these <laughs> hey, out. Hey, Will Smith, how are you? What's up, Joe? 
Joe's birthday is today, Nafonda. Hey, Nafonda, did you know Joe's birthday is today? Joe happy Wells. 49 and a half birthday, Joe. Yes, happy birthday to our favorite McDonald manager, Joe Wells. Happy birthday to him. Joe, 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 Joe. Yes, Joe. yes, yes, yes. So y'all, yes. you got that same day. I got I gotta do something different. Yeah, man. Okay, I'm gonna do something. Somebody was talking about me about my dancing. Oh, that was Ch uh, Chad. She says uh, Ross, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, that Chad said. Ross, don't do that. That was Chad said. No, Chad. Ross, don't 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 do that. Don't do it. Chad gonna give me the real deal. I know she's gonna give that me that right. Chad, hook up, Joe. What, what, what time is? Chad, we got, the, we got we got to do some more of that. Other stuff or something, Chad, all that. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's getting all the end, boy. I do. <coughs> she hit that. Also, coming up on next Saturday, the Deltas are going to have their bow ties and pearls, an evening of jazz. Yes. Yes. You and I are going to go to the evening of jazz. We're going to take our little uh, picnic basket and sit down oh, and have some wine and cheese and enjoy some great jazz. So All make right. sure you guys get your tickets. You can uh, inbox any Delta that you know. They will have tickets for you. Uh, so make sure that you guys don't forget the evening of jazz. It's next Saturday, May the there. That was Zaza on them. Right? That's right. <clears throat> Zaza heard. Yeah, heard. Um, so make sure that you guys. Will Smith to do the snoop. Yes, yes, we'll, we'll, yes. We don't know how to do the snoop. We'll I snoop. think it's, is it the snoop or the shoop? The shoop or something. Oh, okay. We don't know how to do that either. Yeah, I know that right. <laughs> hey, Keela, how are you? That's cousin Keela on there. Keela, 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 Keela. Keela from up the street. Daddy house. Um, Bree's sister. Oh. The baby. Hey, baby Keela. There go <laughs> Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. How are you? Mm-hmm. Photos there by Tiffany. There go Hillman Brook. Hillman Brooks. He out getting, Hillman Brook. Whatever he out getting the um, trash this morning. I thought I saw him on a motorcycle. You I saw him on a motorcycle? I thought that was him. Okay. I saw a guy blow that him. I took that to be him. Oh, okay. Like, that what you What that you, bro? I don't know Hillman got a that. motorcycle? I mean, I don't know. No, okay. They probably do. No, oh, we'll got see. Got bulldozers and I know that right. We need him out there on the land, don't we? Tell him pretty sure he got a bike. Come on out there on the land. Bring the tractor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> got a little stuff we need done out there. Sharon right. That's right. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Hey, Rollo Milton. Rollo said he watches us as he in between jobs and everything. He, um... Beginning going to work, but he watches. They go overseer. Over I haven't Mr. seen him in a while. <laughs> I thought he had a birthday or something. Some went back. <clears throat> did he, he have a birthday overseer? I thought he might have did not too long ago. Something like that. He was mm -hmm. doing something. I remember seeing the name. Mm -hmm. Yep. He had a birthday. All right, overseer. Good morning to you. <clears throat> Look at Rollo. You ain't Rollo cooking collard green lately, overseer, and, and, and had them hot pepper with you. Ooh. No, he don't. He cook collard greens. Yeah, oh, he'll cook anything. I heard that. He the man with the plan. He the man with the plan. I want to thank right. um, WJCN for allowing me to do their morning show on yesterday as well. Um, we enjoyed um, WJCN Channel 30. Well, it says it used to be Channel 33, but it's Channel 15 in the area now. So I um, want to thank them for allowing us to be on their show on yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Mary Todd, how are you? Y'all shout the broadcast if you would. If you would, shout the broadcast for me. Shout out, Mary Todd. Thank you, Mary. Shout out the broadcast there. Overseer. Yes. Everything. There you go. Uh, today we're talking about um, marriage. Oh, Lord. <laughs> marriage. Oh, man. It, it is, I tell you, it's a work addict all the time. But... You know, when before you get married, the question is the the it was pastor's appreciation and the birthday in the same week. That's what I'm talking about. Celebrating all week long. Um, let's see what do you say. If y'all need my po box for my t-shirt, let me <laughs> know. Oh, your PO box. Oh, he still wants his t-shirt. He still wants his t-shirt, honey. Classmate. Hey, I classmate. Tell you that Prince had kicked me off the West Point. Vision committee. <laughs> nah, no, uh, Prince, Prince ain't mean like that. Prince a nigger. Prince ain't did that. 
Preston What's up, that. Reverend Story? I knew. <laughs> What's going on, man? You been doing all right? Mm -hmm. We talking about that marriage stuff today. Yeah, you need to be on here because um, just been talking to several couples lately. Also, me and Honey been talking and everything. And yeah, because she don't straighten up, boy. It's rough. <laughs> but should you get counseling before you get married? Should you get counseling? Um, if people are uh, are about to get married and, and and pass the story, do you advise people in your church to go through counseling with you, with a minister or anything like that? What do you guys think? Do you should you go through counseling? Because really, when you think you know somebody, after you get that ring on, you find that, that you don't really know them. <clears throat> Man. So how do you deal with it as a married couple? How how do you how do you deal with the difference of man, woman, you And they know? tricking you and stuff. You know what I'm saying? How they read you in, get you in like they do the fish and hook him. Then they read you on in, then once they get you, they get you in there and slap you around. <laughs> you Good know, morning, let's try your nice at first. Um we'll say I study psychology in school. I love these topics. It's a great topic because you know, and then I'm I'm I, I I'm in that marriage club that's on Facebook, and I see that you know some of the same things that you go through at home, that you really everybody go through those things you know like yeah. with husband and wife you know, and and people can put up a facade on Facebook. I'm telling you, like it's all gravy when we all know if you're a married couple, it ain't all gravy all the time. I'm telling you. So ain't y'all. So, y'all see that little that little black around her eye. <laughs> don't you know play. What I'm don't play. Boom. You'll get put you'll get picked up. Oh, I didn't do nothing. I was just talking. <laughs> I just playing now. Y'all know I'm just playing. <laughs> you'll get picked up. I don't fight women that much. I was just playing. <laughs> so what you say? Take it back. Glass houses, you right. Um, Karanja Sawyer, I say I think you need premarital counseling. And continue counseling while married. I'm gonna do my own counseling. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Well, I don't see some counseling and heard some counseling stuff. You look okay with that. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't want no counseling. Like, 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 you don't want no counseling. You start acting up until you go get some. Other than that, you, you know, you gonna tell me to go get some? Yeah. Well, no, we have to go together because you got a problem too. I got a problem. Yeah, I'm just saying because just like you and I the other day, conversation is everything. That's what I really appreciate about me and Corey's relationship. When we have a disagreement, we do just really talk about it. And you still don't do right. And norm normally, I'm always right. <laughs> normally, I'm really the one that's right, you know, um, in the situation because he don't get it. So I have to, I have to show him how it really works, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it is. Because he don't understand women. Corey don't understand I'm not. I don't suppose you ain't no well, woman. Well, I'm trying to get you to. And then I'm trying to say she don't understand me. Well, I'm trying to get you to understand me. Y'all women just don't understand us men. <sighs> nah. Mm, um, Karanja Story says you must watch who you receive counseling from. Now though. you got a point there. Now you telling the truth. Now you got a point there. You telling the truth. Now, now that's what I'm really trying to say. Okay. Yeah, you got a point there, real. Mm -hmm. uh, Tiffany says, I think in a marriage, you're always growing and learning one, one another. You only get so much in premarital counseling, open communication, and learning how to love one another is, as individuals. I totally agree. Uh, because you people get in a marriage and they think they can change the other person, too. You can't yeah. change that person. You you really can't change them, I don't think. Um. Overseer said it helps, but not a guarantee. Karanja Sawyer said, I'm on your side. Um, for those of you who are just tuning in, we're talking about um, premarital counseling um, as, you know, being engaged. Oh, look at that bird going in my car. Going in it. I mean, it just went into what the light said. But uh, I hope he get out of there. But um, premarital, uh, premarital counseling. Um, should you as a married couple or, I mean, about to get married, engaged couple, uh, should you go through counseling? Do you think it's needed before you actually take that step down the aisle? Or if you're in a marriage, 
Should really you? and truly, I think you should get counseling. I mean, you know, young people, it ain't all time young people get married. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess you don't got old. You mess around to get married, you don't got fit or, or better, then you might ain't got to do it because you probably been married before. But if you haven't never been married, you probably should get it. Mm-hmm. But definitely a young couple, 25, 28, 30 years old, 26, you know, in a lot of 20s, yeah, I think you should get counseling. Because they don't know what they doing. They just thinking they like these people and marrying them and stuff. And six months later, they're on the vote. Uh, probably <laughs> earlier than that. They think they're in love. Yeah, they sure do. But you got you 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 you'll know when you 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 got to test. I mean, you got to get through the fire because it's gonna be some fire. Yeah, you're gonna it, be some tornado and tsunamis and all that. <laughs> really, I mean, you just got to really know these folks, and you got to take that vile stuff for 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 what it worth for real. You got to be for real about it. Better word, rich, poor, and sick, and all this stuff. You got to be for real about that stuff when they the preachers say that. Because it ain't gonna always be peaches and cream, mm-hmm. but you can't get up and bail out. Like if you were going with somebody, you might just were going together. You might you might not don't supposed to be staying together anyway. If you go together, and you might just oh, I think I quit you. I'm 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 done. You know, and that like that. But when you marry, it ain't that easy. Uh uh-uh. uh. The just talking about I'm I'm leaving. Mm-mm. You know. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't think so either. And and and, and uh, if you mad, I don't think you should get in no another bed either. I don't got hot match you with your husband. A how mad the hood man with the wife, that ain't your bed, that ain't my bed, our bed. You can't kick nobody out the bed. You just sleep in that mad. What y'all think about that? <laughs> nah. I don't agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't they agree know. with we'll that. see what they say. I don't agree with that. Uh, well, what you think then? I think that, well, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. How it depends on what time you come in. Uh-oh. Mr. Corey, who's counseling our women on the poll? I don't know, boy. <laughs> po, 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 po. I mean, I ain't got the pole and, action yet. And, and and is that a big deal in a marriage? And then like, yeah. And then like <laughs> Tiffany said that uh, 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 marriage is a ministry. And, uh-huh. and, I, and I can go with that. I know that's right. It is. It is. I can go with hey, that Hey, Pep. Hey, won't y'all do me a favor? Shout out the broadcast for me, please. Share it out, Pep. Share it out, Rep. Will Will says um, maturing spiritually together is key for growth. <laughs> Look at the story said. What story said? He said he's not anointed for the couches. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he said I agree, Corey. I'm not anointed for the couch. Um, don't give the enemy no room. Keep your butt in the bed. Sometimes a good long relationship is your I best. I know that counsel. right, Tiffany. I know um, what. Pull Corey off the on on the sofa. <laughs> Put him on the sofa. Mary Todd, my name starts with a C, <laughs> not no K. Uh oh, Miss Mary. And uh, yeah, man, you gotta stay in that bed. Thank I, you, I really, Patterson. I, I really be that that that. You don't start kicking folks out the bed. So if you're saying if if I'm mad, I'm okay. really angry with you. Yeah. Then I'm gonna sleep with you. You ain't got a problem. Well, I ain't going to say probably you should do something. You probably ain't going to do something, do something. You know, like boom, boom, boom. But, yeah, you should still sleep in the bed. What do you mean? You my wife. Okay. You can't get up because you mad and now you're going to get out the bed. Mm-hmm. Don't jump like that. I mean, you don't be trying to kick me out the bed and you don't leave out the bed either. You might not be all little bit double hugged up. You know what um, I mean? Come on. We, we human now. You mad. Uh, you might not do all that. But you stay in that bed. And then later on tonight, you know, I might be talking about like, <laughs> or you might do it. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm not. I ain't going to do none of that. No, I'm not. What did the father say? The father says, oh, God, what? Oh, it ain't came up yet. But, um. That, that right, uh, 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 Reverend Story. He said, you turn your way and he turned away, but stay in that bed. Stay in the bed. I ain't trying to stay in the bed. Stay mm-hmm. in the bed. Tiffany just stay in the bed. No. And that's right. And everyone's why they kind of get well, them little me, toes let... and put them little toes on it and check everything. They kind of check their water and see, see how thing going. Yeah, touch them little toes and see how thing going. I ain't with it. Mm-mm. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, Will Smith said, you should not go to sleep with problems. You will make up with more. Corey, you right. No king should sleep without his queen. woo wait, Will, I'm getting you a smoothie, man. I'm going to get you a smoothie, Will. You right, man. Now, that's that the truth. Now, that's the truth. Now, tell Miss Sandra Thornton what we're talking about. Y'all, please share out the broadcast, if you will. 
Uh, honey, gonna tell you what we talking about, Miss Sandra. We talking about relationships and stuff. We talking about marriage, Miss Sandra, um, or premarital uh, or engaged couples. Do you think you should get counseling before you get married? Do you think you should get counseling before you marry? Or if you have problems within your marriage, should, should you seek counseling or try to work it out between each other? Which, like I say in our marriage, communication is everything. We had a disagreement the other day because um, Corey couldn't see my way. But I think after I broke it down to you, that you saw it my way, right? I don't necessarily say I saw it your way, but uh -huh. I'm the type of person like that. I can compromise. Okay. You know, and I can kind of like, you know, because I, I'm for real, guys. Y'all got to listen. I'm all jokes aside. I know I be joking sometimes, but I be for real most of the time. I'm talking about like 99.9. .9, I be for real. Uh -huh. Then I might joke 1%. But what I'm trying to say, though, after Honey was telling me about which I already know, but sometimes people can bring stuff to your, your attention and you kind of like, hmm. They don't know what they're right. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying is that, like, Women, they go through a lot, man. I mean, not outside of having the babies and stuff. Then they got to keep them and nurture them and, and get them right. And we just kind of pass through them. Hey, baby, hey, boy, something. Them children get to crying like I don't know what. Mama going to get them. Everybody hungry, mama going to cook. How do you clean up pretty much? Mama going to do it. Dish need you washing or something? Put them in the dish washing, mama going to do it. I mean, women go through a lot of stuff. I'm glad I ain't no woman. I can't do all that doggone stuff. <laughs> See, he, 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 he looking around saying... Which I do stuff, but man, I don't want to do all that. Yeah. See, he, he looking around saying, uh, why you ain't did this? Why you not? I'm like, Ugh. on top of all the other stuff I got going, especially when, you know, as an entrepreneur that I have to, you know, my business go 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I, it ain't no risk. People be calling me late at night. I'm still, uh, if it's an accident, if something going on, I still got to keep going. On top of, mama, let me help me with my homework. I got to do homework with the kids. Why he I mean, sit back like this? Oh, I don't buy me sitting back like that. And then, like, yes, you do. And then, like I said, you know, my hat goes out to y'all women. My hat really goes out to Because I had to, to bring it to his attention. On all the stuff y'all do. That men, they come home, and it's been several times. Like, if we go to church together, we go somewhere together, we come home, Corey, go to the couch or go to watch television or something. Soon as I hit the door, on my way home, I'm thinking I got to do laundry. I got to do this. I got to do that. That's, what, that's what's in my mind. All he's thinking about is relaxing. I got to get the kids ready for school the next morning. I got to do this. He ain't thinking about none of that. He's just saying, hmm, what's going on right here? Mm -hmm. Right, right. You should. So I had to bring that to his attention. Careful who counsel you. I know that. Right. Yeah, we, that, we were saying. Um, Will Smith says, God is third member of our of your marriage. And what you want do for each other or do for love, you should be able to do for God, which should be y'all's super glue forever. I like that, Will. God is the super glue. I like that for the marriage. But, um, and, and that's what I said. After we had the conversation, then he really was like, hmm, you do do a lot. Yeah, you you, do be, you be doing some stuff. But, but you know, <laughs> but overall, he, it, when it all boiled down and it went to all the water and everything sell, I'm still hungry. <laughs> I still want to pull, 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 pull. Still, you know, that's the jet don't change. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. And then I said it, though. And I, I'm just being honest again. We got to help. Mm -hmm. And I know I probably don't be helping out sometimes. But, I mean, I be doing a lot of stuff, too, though. But I don't think, I don't think we ain't going to get to argue on anything. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> I'm going to help out more. Do some little stuff around there. Help out, you know, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But... If, if if you take care of the king, though, real good, I be mopping the floor and washing the kitchen and doing all kinds of stuff. You, you make your um, um, food, got a knife full of belly, you know, pole, 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 and all that stuff. And man, I'm going to do what I got to do then. Okay. But, I mean, you know, if you're slacking on the brother and, and ain't got him happy, then, you know, he going to go to slapping. Slacking, mm -hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> Um, that will very well appreciate Corey. Yes, it will. Uh, will is saying pole for the king. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. 
Okay. <coughs> Y'all give me some thumbs up. Give me some hearts. But in, in all she fairness, come with the pole. In, in all fairness, too, though, what kind of advice do you would you give a new couple that's trying to get married or just got married? What kind of adv great advice that we know? Please keep God first. You got to do that. You 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 got to do that. These are some of the things you should do. Okay. First and foremost, get the pole. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. But you need one. But anyway, uh, I mean, I just say, you know, definitely you got the, uh, 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 you just got the, uh, man. Overseer says, Julia and I have been married 31 years and never been separated a day. We built our marriage on trust, caring, support, and love. Jesus Christ was our counselor. Wow. That's amazing. 31 years. That's good, Ray. That's that's great. You ought to take me out to eat since you've been married that long. <laughs> <laughs> 31 years. And what I'm saying, y'all, though, for real, I mean, it just take, it takes some work. I'm going to put it like that. It takes some work. Because <clears throat> think about it. You probably been by yourself for a while, then you get with another person, then you connect and marry that person, now you got to be with them all the time. It takes some work. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you're willing to do it, all right, Dick. Hey, Dick. If you if you willing to do it, and 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 you don't say that you were gonna do it, and you don't did the vows and all that, and, and then spent money too right. with the marriage and all that stuff and time and all that, man, the way in the world, I'm gonna get married and spend all my money and time and stuff. Then two or three months later, get a divorce. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. No, you finna stay with me for a while, at least five years, and then there. God, dog, don't put my time and money and then you tell me you finna go. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you finna stay married to me. Mm. Shoot. I People ain't bail it. out too early, too. People bail yeah. out too early. I mean, I don't know how you can... I mean, you, you have to know them some kind of way. I mean, what did you really get married for, Jeff, for another reason? Because I can't see nobody getting married and then not even a whole year, then they get a divorce. But you never know what be going on because right, sometimes right. we'll trick you, though. Right. It could be domestic violence. Sometimes people just have to get out. Yeah. And, I, I, and I can see getting out something right. like that. What if it's infidelity? What is that? <laughs> Using all them more words and stuff. What did Rev say? <laughs> when you cheating. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Stay, 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 stay. You got to find out why they cheating. Now, read some of that stuff. Okay. Um, but, but something making somebody cheat. We finna get on that as you read what, it. What you mean something making somebody cheat? I'm saying if they cheat, something probably made them cheat. Read yeah, it. another woman or man. Ain't nobody they made ain't you made cheat. them do it. Ain't I nobody mean, make you They cheat. ain't making them do it, but I'm talking about they probably gave them, hey, Natisha. Hey, T. They probably gave them some kind of reason. Mm -hmm. Read something to come in. Okay. Um, Overseer said, that's it, Corey. It takes word on both sides. Brock says, do not involve anyone in your problems except God. People will take an inch of information and turn it into a mouth. Then they'll Pray. take a rope and try to play cowboy. <laughs> they'll do it, Brock. Why they'll do it? Uh, Tim says, don't try to live above your means. Be honest with one another. Karanja says, yes, they do bail out too early. You have to endure. Hey, T. Right. The race ain't given to the swiftest. The swiftest? They're giving to the... Bam. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? <laughs> Shut them going story. Let her keep acting up. <laughs> I'm going to be pushing up that pole. <laughs> now, what's up now? What else? <laughs> or the lack of something. Who said that? That story who said that. But oh. but you say you're about to get on to, um, hey, T. Um, and, and, and T is a, a, an officiant. What is that? I don't told you about keep using all these got dog words. <laughs> what is that, T? <laughs> Some she kind of sergeant. People. She's some kind of sergeant. <laughs> she married people. Yeah. She can marry people. Yes. Seriously. She a preacher. <laughs> no, she's a wedding officiant. I'm talking about she can set a vows and stuff for him and tell yes. him, now kiss the bride. Yeah. I ain't know that, T. Yeah. You, you got to be with it, honey. You don't know what's going on. Yes, well, she I is. mean, I ain't trying to get married, so I ain't got to know that. I'm already hooked up. <laughs> There's yeah. Ron Cut, right, our cousin. What's up, Ron? Kimberly Parker. Hey, Kimberly, how are you? Y'all appreciate the bucket. She said she got her license. I heard that. Yes. 
Man, I want to call somebody a name. <laughs> I ain't going to do it. Call who name? Call who? Hey, I you called, call, yeah, you, call yeah, you called us today. Um, let me see. T says, wait, I love to renew your vows, Corey. She says she would love to renew your Ask vows. Ask her how long we've been married. Then we have, when, if she know how long we've been married, we've been for long married for 12 years. 12? Yeah. It's been longer than 12. How do we been married 12 years? This girl getting it wrong. No, I'm not. Hey, Oprah. It's been mm -hmm. longer than 12. Nuh-uh. Mm -mm. It's been 12 years. Well, anyway, well, we got a while then. Wait eight more years when we get to 20. If she make it to 20, then we'll see about doing it. You hear this? <laughs> yeah, I hear it. But um, what you were saying? I uh, said, go ahead. Um, hey, Opal, how are you? Um, let's see, let's see. Um, T says she, I have the video, and I was there. Let me pull up that video. Tonight. Yeah, pull it, pull it, T. Oh, and see what, don't, what's up. please don't. Pull it. But, but seriously, in a marriage, it is, it is a lot of work. Um, don't bail out on anybody. I wouldn't say I, I just don't believe in divorce. I believe working through it unless it's just really he is or she. Um, you're in a domestic violence situation. Other than that, that's about the only way you probably should get a divorce. Right, because you got to find about to kill you or you about to kill him. You got to <laughs> find out why you really fell in love in the first Other than place. That, you just got to stay on in there. Yeah, you got to see why you fell in love in the first place. You know. Um, and and especially when you got children too, you know, try to hang on in there. But should you just stay for the kids? No, I don't think you should just stay for the kids because it's not gonna make a yeah. happy home. Though. If he beating you up and then no. you tell him I'm standing up for the kid. No, 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 no. She no. beating you up. It ain't all the time a man be beating up the woman. Who right. beat up me? You right. I, I like agree. you be doing me. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> I got to tell them. Y'all can help me out. <laughs> Slept him a time or two. He won't do that no more. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Read my last comment. It was very important. Let's see. When getting advice, get it from happy, uh, successful married couples, not singles or divorcing people. Very important. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's but really, good. who's happy out there all the time? I mean, people can be in a healthy relationship, though. Um, a, he a healthy marriage relationship. Um, but I think people should just keep it real though. Cause we know we all have issues. We know we always, you know, we got, you know, problems within a marriage or, you know, trying to work it out. But that's the key point. Communication. You got to sit down. If you're having an issue, don't let it just boil. And I think men don't like to communicate <laughs> as much. What you think? Yeah. I like to talk. Hey, Min Monte. Yeah. I Min Monte is a marriage just like, a, just like fine wine. It's yes. getting better with time. Right. I agree with that, uh, Miss Monte. Especially these folks learn how to cook. I think a woman should definitely know how to cook. You should learn that before you marry the man. God, oh, they said it way too hard or something through his stomach. Cook the man something. It's a lot you know? of men that like to cook, too. Well, I ain't one of them. Well, why don't you find that? I ain't finding nothing. Huh? Finding what? Why don't you get a grill? He don't even like the grill. Why don't you get on like I do be grilling. You don't grill. Well, what I be doing? Nothing waiting on your plate. I don't ever get now. <laughs> Shoot. So y'all know I got to like this clown a little bit. Just keep hanging around here on get fed. You do get fed. Will you stop it? Did the other folk feed me? I <laughs> Shoot. What y'all clad, man? God, no, man. Around the camp. Washing clothes on the top. I can't never get my right clothes. I mean, man, it ain't rough around that boy. You got to hang in there, though. Honey, I tell you the truth. I've been doing better. With the clothes, you know, the dryer done messed up now, so you got to see about getting that. Hang picture. them out. I ain't going to hang them out now. Go back like the old day. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Uh, Natisha says, most divorces are a result from one letting go and one in the marriage alone. Wow. There's reasons and circumstances to get to that point. Signed, a divorced woman. She says she been down that road. She been down What's that road. What's up, Brandon? Um, What's that? Wow. I need some fear, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two P. <laughs> That's right. They fried. Need some fear. I had to call him yesterday because I blew at him, and then he didn't. He didn't act like he didn't see me. Got it. So oh, yeah. Had, yeah, he's trying to have Brian do. So I had to call him out on it. What did you say? Uh, the teacher said, Corey, I've invited you over for us to cook you a meal. I'm still waiting. When? She she did. She did. 
Fresca ain't told me nothing. She did. She did. She ain't told me, T. Because we don't have a sitter. It's hard. Man, I don't want to eat that junk. I could have came down there and ate. <laughs> I don't think you're going to come without me, are you? Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> T, you tell, you talk to me, T. T cook those meals like it's in a magazine. She, she That's what I like. She put all Stop calling my phone. I'm on the show. Them your cl clients. She, she, um, hey Charmaine, how are you? Hey Charmaine. Robert Brock says you can be happy all the time when you know all of it's working for your good. The house will continue to settle into itself. Hey, Miss like Shirley that. Greenwood. Hey, Miss Shirley, how are you? Yeah. T, I mean, Aunt T said we can find a setter. We can find one, T. Like, you know, let her know when you want to do it and let, let me know, T. Start talking to me. Because I'm ready for one of them. Cuisine, cuisine. Yeah, she, she, she. Her food is like on a plate. It looks really nice. She, she. I think she cooks banana pudding too. For real? Yeah, I think she, she did a banana pudding around the holidays or something. All right, then, T. Yeah, she mean right. in the kitchen now. I mean, all right, T. What's up? Yeah, maybe I'll get that way one day. I know that right. I got about five meals I cook. Yeah, sometimes. I cook, honey. You got these people thinking I don't cook now. I do. Barbecue chicken. Every yeah, once in a while, I get some chicken wing, spaghetti. My main good old meal, though, she might do it for long. The neck bones and collard green or either cabbage and stuff like that. Boy, I'm so tired of them marking them ties. I know that right. Get away from there. Get away from that tie, man. <laughs> so, I don't even with that. I'm so sick of that. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start marking all they ties. Oh, we talking about something totally different now, y'all. They put marketing ties out there and everything. <clears throat> but anyhow, what I was talking about? You you were saying um the you name the meals that meal. I cook cook uh huh. She cook. Look, do what y'all do to make a happy marriage. Just let your honey do what they do, and and you do what you do, and y'all have a good time, and just don't be into all that stuff. Don't be missing her phone. She messes your phone, and and and. Got to go to the bathroom when she go and follow her where she go, calling her when she at the store and got to talk to y'all until you get back home. That's a bunch of crap. I if you doing that, that's a bunch that. of crap. Man, folk be doing that junk. I hope they don't. Man, folk be doing that. I don't never go in your phone. We already discussed that. She I just don't. go in my wallet. <laughs> now, they get to stealing your money. I think that ought to be something else, boy. What do you think about that, uh, uh, Overseer? When they steal your money? A story? I mean, that ought to be grounds and kind of, you know, what Give you the boot. Talking about stealing our money? Ain't no hour. You our. Our money? You talking about our money? You talking about I'm stealing our money? Tiffany, Kim said not the bathroom. Yeah, they be going in the bathroom with each other. Uh, uh-uh, that's my private time. Mm -mm, don't even come in there. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> man, I ain't wet. You hear me? <laughs> hey, shoot, man. But look, everybody just should stay happy. And like and Tiffany and said, that's not stealing. You're one. Tiffany. Corey got a little complex with that money. He, and you know what, y'all? This is what I don't like, but I don't say anything. When I ask him for something, he turn his back and count his money like that. That's just a man thing. No, that's it just ain't. That's what we be doing. If any man be doing that, let me know. What because you going to do about it? I'm just saying I want I want to know, do they do they do yeah, that? Yeah, honey, that's what we do. When you give it a put the money out, we ain't going to let, let you see it. We, Why you going to let me see it? What you want to see it for? Because I want to know what how my money you got. Why you want to know that? I'm your wife. You ain't got to know how much money I got. Yes, no. I do. Do I know how much you got? No. Well, then. <laughs> You ain't got to know that. You ain't got to know how much I got. Yes, I do. You just know what you had me for is going to get to you or not. Uh-uh. Then you'll never pay me back. Still owe me that $40 from last time. No, I don't. You do. You, you ate your $40. I ain't ate no goddamn dollars. You want me to buy the grocery, cook them too, and everything. No. Mm -mm. See you what kind of stuff we going on? Yeah, you ate it. 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 Boy, I, I don't see. owe you anything. Get that straight. I see, don't owe you. I'm glad I'm just the type of person. I just charge it to the game. I ain't even worried Come about it. Come on, Brock, what you saying? Let me see what Brock's saying. Women will find a way to spend every penny. I Brock, I wasn't looking right. for that. I know that right. <laughs> I know that right, bro. 
So I, bro, that's why I got to try to save back something for a rainy day. You know bro, what I'm talking about. Bro, if Gigi asks you for some money and you standing right in front of her, do you then pull your wallet out and turn your back like this and then start doing like this and then you say, okay, here you go. Don't do that. No. I mean, what, 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 I mean, what the problem with that, honey? Because I don't want you to do that. Well, all right, then. I stopped doing it. Ah. I just thought facing you and, and with it. <laughs> God dog it. See ya? how things just get resolved? Yeah, it just get resolved. I didn't know you didn't like that. No. I'm just like, what you hiding it for? Have I ever taken any money from you? It ain't really about hiding. It's just something like we be doing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should understand this. Well, you this. be in your purse. I don't be over there looking all in your purse while you Yeah, get that 20 right there, too. I don't be doing that. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> Tiffany said, my husband turned his back. The more I see, the more I'll want. So he say, oh, she'll want more of the money. Kim is to her son, dude. See, I thought it's a man thing, honey. Oh, okay. Then look, Will Smith's a habit. It's a habit. Okay. He said, I, Robert said, I just reach in there and give her what she asked for. See, yeah, uh, yeah Corey Cor Cor would be in his life. Probably got a wallet, he do like this. <laughs> <laughs> and get the, and she don't see in it. You over there telling me, let me see, what, what does he got over there? You don't need to know all that. Uh, he said, uh, Tip and the husband said, it is a man thing. See, that's, so it ain't no big deal. How you feel about it now? I, I guess I have, hey, I can understand it. I just thought that it was you. No, it ain't just me. Oh, okay. See, that wasn't coming with this type of stuff we had to understand. We got to understand it. Some understand. stuff just stuff men do. Okay. And some just stuff women do. And I understand it. I get it. Yeah. I, I get it now. So, um, you know, you can turn your back if that's what you need. I ain't going to do it no more. Okay. Uh, Kim, it's an April. <laughs> Don't <laughs> take your wallet out. they don't press my clothes, he back. I, I know that's right, uh, Kim, but I don't never take my pocketbook out. I just dig in it and do like she this. She don't ever be giving me that. That's why. <laughs> that is exactly why. <laughs> see what I'm saying? I don't ever get it. And I have to ask her for them to be at her for them so I don't get to see it. Honey, she always get me. But I'll say, honey. So at least I ought to be able to turn my little back and give her the money. Come on now. Come I, on what? I, I throw you something every now and then, you know. Don't mm. I? Huh? I said, huh, put this towards whatever we need to pay or something, don't we'll I? do it today. No, thanks. <laughs> no, thanks. Uh, I know that right. T said, the golden rule to happy marriage, the wife is always right. Happy wife, happy life. He said, take you to court for stealing my counseling, for stealing my hard-earned <laughs> money. Now that right, Will Smith. Now Will Smith be having good stuff. He he know what he to say. He's a, he's, he took psychology, so he Oh, he know how to read folk man. I guess so. What yeah. the clown thinking, man? <laughs> no, he he don't read people minds. Well, what he do then? <laughs> I think you talking about hypnotist, ain't you? I don't know what I'm talking about. What he do then? <laughs> he's a he said he took some psychology. Classmate still on that salad. It was good, classmate. That salad was on the chain. <laughs> I'm going to go get them real now, but I'm hungry already. I ain't waiting until no 12 o'clock to eat. You ain't got to wait no certain time to eat. You eat when you're hungry. I'm hungry. Nah. You hear me? I'm telling you. This is my test, that salad. I'm telling y'all. If y'all don't get anything else, y'all got to take that salad from Miss Montez. That salad was everything to me. Yeah, the salad right, the real right, Ooh. chicken right. Ooh. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right. I'll be unmoving to the grain somewhere like that, man. Yeah, we need to get to we need to get to Georgia. Quick. Hey Miss Miranda. Ain't going. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey Miss Miranda. How are you? Miss Miranda, we were talking about marriage earlier. About should you get counseling before you get married? Or how is it when you're in a marriage, things come up, should you seek counseling? I know that I know what you're saying, Tiffany. I know what your husband talking about. Sing a song, huh? We're gonna get up out the camp. Oh, I can't sing today. Uh -uh. Leave me off and I'll help you. I ain't really got no for real. I know <laughs> I know for the hell. Uh, Y'all give me a song out there. <sighs> give me some. A little piece of something, something. Mm. Bring, let's bring somebody in. Tiffany, can you come in? Because we about to cut off anyway. And if we cut off, it would be all right. Mm. A story. Can somebody come in? Let me log in. Come in, uh, Mark. He said, did you go to the tax sale? No, I didn't go. No, Tell me I don't stole all my money. <laughs> 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 you probably made that far. You ain't came back on yet. Yeah. Tim said, oh, no, she can't come in. Tim, you ain't got that house right yet. He's, he said Al Green. 
<laughs> Look at um, Uncle Pee Pee. Yeah, Al yeah, Green, that's what he said. Oh, uh, when we doing that thing next month? Oh, it was it this month? Uh, it's no, next month. No, that's next month. That well, they this have. year. Man. April, then May. Okay. <clears throat> Man, love the Hargis at the end of May. Woo! That's the only time you like them? I love them anyway. They know that. I don't know, look cool. Y'all let her come. Man. Best time. They have the best war rate, I tell you. Um, Miranda says she want to hear you sing, Corey. Willie Meadows say... Y'all put a smile on my face this morning. I love this. Just had knee surgery Monday and up hurting now. But after listening to y'all, I feel a lot better. Oh, that's so wonderful, Will. Willis Meadows. Yeah. And then this is what it is. Y'all take this. Relationship. <clears throat> Work on it. Just keep working on it. Be for real about your vow. Don't get married too early. I think you should. What you mean don't get married too early? Did you, did you mean that? Okay. In my opinion. I don't think nobody should get married until they get at least 28 or better. I wasn't married no earlier than that if I, if it were me and I wasn't married, I had to do it all over again or whatever. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't get married less than, uh, earlier than 28 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to live a little while and figure out stuff and understand life and see what's going on. See, you get married too doggone early, and then you ain't never really experienced nothing and then mm -hmm. that kind of, you know what I'm talking about. Right. So you shouldn't get married too too bad all early. You should, you say experience a lot. What you think about um, when couples practice celibacy? <laughs> huh? I'm now reading the oh, class. Okay. They getting the pool ready for for the summer. You know summer. the pool. You know, uh, yeah, there. yeah. They pool uh, So she gonna have to uh, get a bathing suit. Oh ready. my god, I gotta get toned up. You talking about saying Lena? Uh, 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 I, 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 I love you. But first, before we before we get what out, you talking about some syllabus stuff? Yeah. What what you saying about it? I'm talking about practicing it before you get married. No, I already told him how I feel about that. Lord forgive me. I ain't practicing. I'm going to practice something, all right? I told him before I buy a car, I like to test drive it. Now, I don't like drive no car and I ain't even, I mean, buy no car and I ain't even drove it before. Now, that just mean, I, know, I mean, all children, close your children shouldn't be in school about now, but I know you might say it later. But y'all know what I'm talking about. I mean, do the right thing and do the way you're supposed to be doing. Don't do like I'm talking about doing. Mm -hmm. But, boy, before I buy a car, I'm trying to drive for it. See what I drive like. See how them gear switch. Then if it ain't right, you trade it in. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Marcus said, me too, Corey. Hey, Felicia, Tally, how are you? Look at Noel. Noel laughing at you. Um, got to say, before we get out of here, I got to give a huge shout out to our niece, Shanicia Nene Burton. Got to yes. give a sh huge shout out. Yesterday, she was in Columbus among 200, over 200 people in Columbus. Uh, Aflac was in the building. The big company names were in the building. Kinetic Bank, all these huge corporations. And um, to be selected, uh, she won the 2018 Business Integrity Award. And I'm all telling right. you. Big ups to Nene. Gotta My give niece. a shout out to Nene. Yeah. And uh, this is a woman who had two babies before she was even 18 years old. Mm. When people count you out, Ooh, when God. people count you out, do you hear me? Mm. Two babies before 18 years old. But God, turn He'll do it. that thing around. Do you hear me? He'll do it. Her quote at the brunch was, I used to pick up dollars off the floor. Now I'm the CEO. Woo-hoo. Woo. <laughs> What? Thank you, me, my dear. When God turned Please that thing the broadcast. around for you, okay? So it ain't never too late, okay, in life. Never too late. No. Uh, never. So I had to give a good shout, a shout out to her. So proud of Nene for what she's doing. Y'all, please shout out the broadcast, if you will. We we, we time been well spent. Yes. What's that, overseer? Y'all got to get more time <laughs> soon. As it get good, it's time for y'all to go. Yeah, I know. How it Speak is. life. That's right. Speak life is coming up on Sunday at three o'clock. Right off the, uh, I forgot what exit that is. It's at the uh, Lafayette. Uh, I thought I said Lafayette something. Lafayette Christian School. Lafayette Christian School. So don't you all forget. Speak life is coming up on this coming Sunday. So please, T. I know you're gonna be there. I will see you there. <laughs> In house, and also I want to see all my other great friends, Marcus, Latanya, Overseer, come on through. Y'all come meet me at Speak Life's lunch at three o'clock in Lagrange. And on that note, Exit 14, stay married, right? stay married, work on it, counselor, mm -hmm. talk about it, 
Wait till you're 28. And the main thing, do like this. Is Lee William was here. And them spiritual QCs. Mm -hmm. He'll say something like this right here. I can't give up. I can't give up now. See, I come. That will be you. I come too, too, too far to turn, oh, turn around now. I'm going to say it one more time. Do, 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 do. I can't give up. Can't give up, y'all. I can't give up now. See, I come. Somebody know I come too, too far to turn, oh, turn around now. Gonna say no more, y'all. We're gonna go on. Uh, I, I, I don't know that song. So. Yeah, you know that one. <laughs> Sometimes. Say it, Corey. While on this journey. You better sing now. My body. Sometimes get wrecking on with pain. Yeah. He needs some music. But I know all of my works. All of my works. All of my works down here won't be in vain. I said, I got a few more rocks. Yeah. A few more reels. Yeah. But one day. One day. One day. One day. I'm going to make it. Yeah. I'm going to make it. Yeah. On top of the hill, oh, I come. We come too far, y'all. Come too, ooh, too far to turn. Oh, turn around now. We going, y'all. I'm going to make it. We'll see y'all. We going. <laughs>